Welcome back, everyone, to more of Zero Crew Exhibition matches. I remain your host, Dominic, or Shadow Fury, whichever you prefer. And we have another map. Another match. Mercurial, being played by Ciceroth, playing Rovers. And The Warning, playing Jump Bots. This looks familiar. It's because it's Quicksilver, just way more efficient. Like, Quicksilver had some issues. I think because it had so many trees, it would bog down any computer. Like, this, this machine. That I'm running now, which is, uh, well, I can't remember his specs offhand. It's like a 4 gigahertz, pretty newish i7, plus a GTX 970, and it was getting bogged down. And I know 0K, it's a bit of a meme that 0K is, or Spring in general, 0K in particular, is not very efficient for hardware, Doesn't, but it does run on potatoes quite well. So yeah, the fact that this map was notably slow... That was, or Quicksilver rather, so Mercurial's a nice movement on that, but otherwise, it is essentially the same map. Except without the ramps into the damaging water. That, that part's been removed. Not sure why that was there in the first place, to be honest. Anyhow, Ciceroth driving up, seeing what the warning is up to, and the warning, on the other hand, taking advantage of the whole jump bot thing to send some workers down to the bottom. Try to see what they can build up. Sithroth, on the other hand, they have they have a recon commander. Why is Sithroth not jumping the recon commander down here? Like you have a recon commander, jump, build, be productive that way. I don't know what's going on with that. At any rate, the warning is going to be able to expand a problem. Oh, there it is. Okay, Sithroth was apparently just not paying attention to their commander. It is odd. I would have. Expected that would have been queued, but so it goes. You can queue jump orders, by the way, in case you weren't aware, which, I mean, maybe it's not obvious. I don't know. Like, there's... You can queue basically anything in Zero K. I don't think there's any orders you can't queue offhand. Like, even wait orders and what to do after wait orders can be queued, which is... Which would be a handy way of handling, like, multiple front armies... Converging on one point, if more for the fact that the weight command is honestly a bit of a nightmare to use in terms of the interface. Well, the warning coming in around here, trying to find some way to deal some damage, and unfortunately going to find pretty much perfect counter to that pyro. Although the pyro does still have plenty of room to maneuver. But Ciceroth realizing what's going on, they see the writing on the wall, pull up that. Ripper, make sure to protect the metal extractors. Fencer as well. Actually, this is a better counter for Pyro, not so much the Ripper. Ripper has the damage, but the Fencer can actually hit the Pyro as the Pyro is doing shenanigans. And shenanigans there shall be, because the Pyro's got his jump back. I'm assuming they're going to jump in. There it is, yep. There's the warning going for the jump in, and that is never a good choice. Well, they're not never. If you're absolutely certain that you're... Your brace of pyros? Your wing of pyros? I don't know. Your squad of pyros. That's the word I'm looking for. Make sure if your squad of pyros works, yeah. Then, sure, jumping in is fine, but it's just real risky. But what's not risky is the fact that Warning has basically taken up their entire corner of the map while Sitheroth is, well, actually a bit behind. Wait, something's wrong here. The numbers don't... Oh, Ciceroth is using o Overdrive to try to get themselves... Well, not try to. They are succeeding at getting themselves in the same economic position as the Warning, which means the Warning is actually a little bit more vulnerable. They have a wider front and more targets that can be taken out, which is exactly what Ciceroth is doing. This southwest is open. They're, that Lotus, as you can see, is doing absolutely nothing. That's three metal extractors down. That's five metal per second that the Warning will not be getting back in a hurry. On the other hand, the center of the map is completely safe. The warning has that on lock. I don't think that matters, though. Ciceroth, I mean, their static economy is now even. On top of the fact that Ciceroth has overdrive. And quite a lot of it, too. There's lines of wind generators. And on a map like this, wind generators are... 0.6 to... I didn't make my text so small. 0 0.6 to 2.5. Which is amazing. Like, 0 0.6 to 2.5 is basically... Build winds, don't build solars. I mean, 0.5 is the cutoff, but... I say it's the cutoff. I mean, obviously, if you want to play a risky, but... 
in terms of average effectiveness for cost. But yeah, Sisteroth just wrecking everything. Unfortunately, Lotuses are not great against fencers. They just aren't. Stingers do fine. More expensive, but they do fine. And of course, one of the things that's not we're not seeing here is use of puppies. Moderators are a good choice. A little expensive, but you know, effective. But we aren't seeing puppies. And against fencers, you want to have some kind of light, cheap, fast raider type unit that can take them out. Mind you, I haven't played jump bots a whole lot recently. I so I'm not 100 percent sure the exact speed stats relative between the puppy and the. Oops, not you. Ah, it's basically there. So yeah, they're 105. Fencers are 80 something, 84. Yeah, no puppies have no problem with this. They would absolutely wreck shop. I mean, you'd need a lot of them, of course, because they will die. But that's true in general when facing down fencers. On the other hand, once they get anywhere near the fencer, they turn to a missile and just kill it. It's not like the fencer's moving around to dodge it anyway. It's shooting. So yeah, I kind of am surprised that the warning isn't using puppies here, because puppies would pretty much counter this army outright. It'd be a hard counter. Okay, well, maybe not so much the stinger. Oh, the stinger. Yeah, the stinger can only get like two or three puppies at a time. So we'd be good. Yeah, the warning. I have no problem. Ciceroth coming around the side here. Looks to be trying to project force over to the southeast. The Warning's not contesting that, so it's fine. It should work reasonably well. Unfortunately, there aren't any... Are there any builders at all? Oh, there are. Yeah, because the Mason going over to the southeast side of the map. Another one in the center reclaiming. Okay, well, that's all right. Oh, yeah, in case you hadn't known, there was, there was a new thing that's been added. It's a little bit... I do kind of wish it was more like a circle that covered the thing, but I can kind of see why they went with the polygon with all its edges on the reclaimables. That shows you the number of metal, or the amount of metal in an area for reclaim. It's convenient, if a little ugly. Like I said, it, if it was like a circle or something, I could see that. No, no, the circle would... Nah, no, a circle would end up looking like overdrive. I don't know. It's kind of weird to set up. It's, it's a good idea, though. Like, the, the idea in general is good. If someone has suggestions for how to improve the art of it, they're they're welcome. Like, yeah. I mean, either pull requests or you can just put them in the comments of the video, honestly. I'd probably find something there. Someone's going to go, yeah, that looks cool, and then throw it in. And Sisteroth's commander getting taken out by jump bots jumping in. But Cicero at the same time has been able to take advantage of their overdrive, just gradually building up that army. Again, puppies have not been built this entire time, so the fencers have been completely uncontested. Gradually growing. Stinger is in place to stop it, or try to, but it's just not helping out too much. And now the fencers getting some contest from the pyro. Ooh, that's actually going to destroy this entire section, this entire squad of fencers over to the south. And it will not save the metal extractor, though. And the northwest has basically no chance of surviving, while the southeast is being taken by Ciceroth definitively. And the warning has lost the center of the map, as we can see by looking at the fancy pants. Wait, where's the. Hang on. I need to find something to actually click onto so I can see the reclaim. Yeah, 1200 metal. Over in the center. Another 30. Oh, right, because the commander died, so there's another 1300 over here. There's like 2,500 metal across the center of the map, and the warning has their commander right here. What is going on? D -d 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 like you could you could reclaim a good 400 metal, 400 500 metal of that, no problem. What are you doing, the warning? Why are you not? Well, actually, what are you doing, the warning? That's that's a good question. What was my? Oh, that no, wasn't that. What are you doing, the warning? Oh, you're looking at this. Okay, fair enough. Trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Sure. I get that, but I'm still kind of confused. At any rate, the warning's commander, it's having a bit of a tough time. 
by a bit of a tough time. I mean, it's about to die. Goodbye, the warnings, Commander. And with that, Ciceroth is three to, three to one metal ratio. It's... I don't know if the warning has anything up their sleeve to try to deal with this. They do have a Firewalker being built up, but with ten metal per second, that's not happening in a hurry. I'm quickly getting that storage up just to be on the safe side. Can't say I blame them, but I can say... It is a Hail Mary pass for sure. Why are... Oh, I think we have... Sorry, someone's in the chat pointing out a replay. I'm not sure if they're talking about a replay I've already seen or they're talking about a request for a later one. Uh... No, it's a request for a later one. Well, I might do it afterwards, sure. I mean, this is basically a request stream. I haven't done casts in a while for 0k, and I feel like... Well, I had some requests coming in there, and I kind of felt like, you know, it'd be really good to come back with some requests, because I like getting replay requests. Although I realize getting replay requests, it's more a question of, hey, could you at least tell me what I did wrong? And in this case, well, I mean, it was really just a slow, slow burn of attrition. The main thing I'd say is that, the, like I said, the fences weren't countered. The puppies would be a really smart option for that. And they weren't used. That's kind of what it boils down to. Pretty simple, honestly, when you really look at it that way. And the Firewalker, that last ditch hope for the warning, coming into the field, having a bit of success. I mean, not a bad thing to use when dealing with badgers. It's just badgers aren't a bad thing to use when dealing with the Firewalkers either. It's the best they can do. A Firewalker coming in here, trying its best, doing some damage. But Sisroth, they're moving to close. There's the Assault Force coming in here. Some Ravagers, some Rippers, a bunch of Fencers for support. Nice retreat there. I like that. Smart move. Let the Pyros come over here. Keep the Ravagers in position in case the Pyros come too close to the Fencers, but otherwise let the Fencers take care of the Pyros. I like Sisroth. Like, that was, that was a nice little bit of play there, coming from Sisroth. Just... Good maneuvering, and with that, the warning realizes they have no other chance, no other hope. That is game. And, yeah, if we look at the metal, I mean, it really comes down to metal income in this game. Sisteroth just maintained an advantage for metal income. They're equally efficient up till the end game, but it was a matter of just metal. Sisteroth had the overdrive that worked for them when the income was about a little bit on the decline for their side, and after that, it was just... Well, like I said, they opened up... They opened up this southwest side. There was no defense... There were no defenses there for fencers. There was nothing to stop skirmishers from coming in here and wiping out the southwest corner. And that's five metal per second. That is a lot. That was like a fifth of the warning's economy at that point. That was the only thing keeping them ahead of Ciceroth. After that point, it just... It's, it's, ah! It just snowballed into Ciceroth winning. I don't normally stutter. That was weird. Anyhow, it just snowboarded, snowballed into Ciceroth winning. Gradually getting larger and larger economic advantages until they finally took the game. And, of course, the warning never really countered the fencers properly. Again, either puppies or if you don't really like the suicide units, I think moderators will work okay. They have a lot of range. That's not enough. No, they don't really have enough range. So, no, moderators are not the best choice there. Yeah, puppies really are the best choice. I mean, you'll need a lot of them. But... Fencers are 140, and puppies are, I think... Oh, puppies are 50 each, but you can use the reclaim to gray goo more. Actually, that's a fair point. I feel like it, some math needs to be done. I'm kind of wondering if there's a bit of a matchup imbalance between, between jump bots and rovers. Well, that is for another day. For now, we will be moving on to third match. There's Magman versus The Warning. So, see, The Warning... Well, okay, it's Mag... I want to say The Warning redeemed themselves, and maybe they shall. Back on Titan Duel. You know it's a request stream when I am doing the same map twice. 
So stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple of moments.